Whoa, wait there, miss. You gotta read the sign first. It says contact precautions. What does that mean? Basically, contact precautions. Every patient has a certain type of precaution. This patient has contacts, so they can't be touched. You have to wear certain types of things, okay? Oh. Let me show you. Now, there are three different types of precautions that we have to watch out for when we're entering into the patient room. If we actually see the sign outside, it's gonna be contact, droplet, airborne. Now, you're kind of wondering what does all three of these mean? Contact, basically, you want to be careful about touching the patient. For droplet, typically they're going to be spraying, so they're going to be coughing or spitting, and it's typically within the three feet of the patient. Now airborne, that's going to be everywhere, okay? As soon as you enter the room, you're already exposed to that. Now for contact precautions, before any kind of precautions, you want to have hand hygiene. So I'll be applying sanitizer or washing your hands, depending on how it is. Okay. You typically want to use the gown and gloves before or upon entering into the patient's room, okay? So first I'll be applying the gown. Up the yellow gown to match my yellow skin. My gloves on, okay? A private break, just in case so that the transmission does not spread, okay? So I'll enter the patient's room, do my intervention. Now before I'm exiting into the room, I'll typically take off my PPE for my hand hygiene again, before actually leaving the room. Now for droplet precautions, same thing as any other precautions, you want to perform hand hygiene. So typically by washing your hands or using the hand sanitizer they have outside. Okay. Now typically with patients that have droplet precautions, they'll be spraying within three feet. So normally you use just a face mask, but since I'm entering within three feet of the patient, I also want to apply the other PPE or personal protective gear, just as the gloves and gown. Okay? So I'll take all this. I'm gonna put on my gown, put on my mask. Oh, this is a lot easier. And then put on my gloves. Okay. Now this all is happening just before I'm entering into the patient's room or upon entering the room. You also be applying goggles as well, as you don't want anything to spray onto your face. Okay. As you can see, my patient is coughing. <coughs> and I'll be performing my uh, for my intervention. And as before I'm <laughs> leaving the room, I'll be taking off my personal protective gear for my hand hygiene beforehand. And then leave, leave the room. <laughs> now, typically, they'll be in an isolated room, just like in contact precautions. For airborne precautions, same as any other precautions, you still want to perform hand hygiene beforehand. Okay. So, same thing, either by washing your hands or putting the hand sanitizer. Okay. Now, the patient is typically in a negative pressure room, which means that they're trapping all the air inside the room so it doesn't spread outside. Now, typically. The healthcare provider will be using an N95 mask. I'll be using a surgical mask instead to represent them. Okay. Depending on the healthcare provider, they can also apply gloves as a standard precaution. Okay. Now all this is applied before entering into the room. I'll uh, enter into the room before my intervention. Now I'll also be leaving the room with my PPE on. Okay. As I leave my room, then I can take off my gloves. I can take off my N95 and then perform my hand hygiene again. Okay. I'm hoping by the end of this video that you actually know about the three, three different types of precautions contact, droplet, and airborne. Now, these are just generalized concepts, these are not set in stones. Okay? So, not one patient is just only going to have contact or droplet or airborne. One might have a combination of the two, just as for droplet, a patient can have a flu, which and they're also coughing, which can actually include droplet and also contact onto them, okay? So learning how to do the combination of these type three can actually depict on how your PPE is going to be, uh, be like.